Hey guys, it's NintendoGen64, welcoming you to part 29 of my Super Mario 64 Let's Play. And, um, right now we've actually finished off the entire third floor of the castle. I know, yeah, this is the third floor down here. This is the third floor. And up here is where we're going to go next, the fourth floor of the castle. The last floor of the castle, actually, there's only two walls left. Okay, I know that didn't say reacting to the star of the star power the door slowly opens. That's because I already did this back when I showed the um stairway glitch thing. Just to clear that off. Okay, so first thing you do is talk to this toad over here. And he says, There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside and match the position of the big hand. Oh look what I found. Here Mario catch. And you didn't give this to me earlier, why? Oh that's right, you were locked in here, I'm sorry. 104. Here we, Here we go indeed. You bet. Okay, that's enough for this episode of Let's Play Super Mario 64. See you in the next episode. Ah, uh, no, just kidding. I only got one star. I can't end it there. So this is the next world. Tick tock on the clock, but the party don't stop. No, this is called Tick Tock Clock. And, um, what that Toad was saying before is, like, when the big hand is on a certain number, whether it be 9, 3, or 12, or 6, something magical happens inside the clock. Okay, if it's on 12, the time stops completely. It means everything in the clock stops moving. If it's on 3, it goes slowly. 6, I think it's faster, and 9 is faster still. Okay, for the first star, we want it on 12. So, just wait for the hand to come around. There we go. That's on 12. The first one, roll into the cage. Oh yes, and this music definitely sounds familiar. Uh, this is the music from like all those secret areas, like the slides and stuff, and when you first Cooper the Quick. This is probably the most used audio in the entire game, apart from Mario, obviously, but... Yeah. So roll into the cage. This is... This is a very good, le cool level. It's like... How creative is that inside a clock? Even though I don't get what the point of all this crap over here is. Have you ever looked inside a pocket watch or something? What are you doing? Okay, thank you. I've never seen any of these pushy things. I swear they're just there to annoy me. But thankfully, it's very, very easy when the clock isn't moving. It's kind of more of a joke than a level, really. But, mm, oh well. It gets much more difficult when you have to do stuff with like the insides of the clock moving. Okay, so there's the first star there. And there we go. Simple as that. Here we go indeed. Okay. Ta -da! There we go, 105. Yeah. Okay, so the next star is also easiest on the 12. Oh, the big hand's on 12. Just forget about the little hand, just focus on the big hand. The pit and the pendulums. Okay, once again, nothing moving on the clock. So I guess that party has stopped. Hmm. Okay. So now what we've got to do is just repeat the same process as before. And that's pretty much it. Oops, the daisy. Oh, don't fall off. This can give like a lot of people a lot of trouble, this one, pretty much because when it's well when it's not moving it's pretty easy. But because like the I don't, the controls of Super Mario 64 feel really restrained. Like your jumping ability isn't Yeah, it's just very restrained and you have limited control over Mario and stuff like that, so it can make some aspects of the game very difficult. Especially this level, because the very, very heavy jumping level. Okay, this platform here, it's very annoying, because if you see it there, there's a hole between it and the wall, and if you jump there, you can, I don't know, somehow it's big enough for Mario to fall down, so... And that gave me a lot of trouble as well when I was practicing. Because, yes, I have to practice this level, because this is one of the... Oops. This is the one of the levels you should really practice, like, Bob and Battlefield, nah, you don't really need to practice that. Even uh, Tall Tall Mountain doesn't require any practice at all. Okay, so 
put in Mario's perspective, zoom out. Can help you see that. If, and if you're very cautious, you can just jump like that. I mean, you know, belly flop. Okay. Oops. Okay, when this is actually moving, that thing there, the block up there, goes up and down. And, um, those pendulums swing, so that's why it's called the pit and the pendulums. Okay, 106. Here we go indeed. And we're only up to 5 minutes to 30 here. Doing pretty good for time. Pit and pendulum's done. Okay. The next one is also easiest on 12, would you believe? That's on 12. Even though it's called Get a Hand, which means that you must, you know, get a hand. But, um, really, it's much easier if it's not moving. If you were going to do this one normally, I'd recommend doing it on either 3, 6, or 9. Obviously not 12, or just randomly, you know. Um, but, yeah, this one's probably the easiest one, or second easiest one maybe in the entire course. Actually, they're not very difficult to start, it's just, I mean, doing them is not very hard, but actually, yeah, getting to them is hard, if that makes sense. Okay, so normally if this was get a hand, I was doing it normally, this clock hand would be moving and you have to step on it and then there'd be like a little alcove where you could get the um, star. But I think most people know about this little glitch secret you can do. And if you don't, I'll show you. So pretty much just stand here, hug against the wall, whoop, you don't want to do that. And there we go. Just push against the wall as hard as you can with the joystick. Here we go indeed. Okay. Now we get to the business end of this course, the hard stuff. Okay, so you want this one you wanna get it on three. Um, it's gonna take a little while, but three's probably easiest. Anyway. So this one is called Stomp on the Thwomp. And in the words of um Doctor N Tropy from Crash Nitro Kart, time for action! Because that's what this one's all about. Action. Because everything's moving. And this is where I'm afraid I'm going to have to... I have the most trouble. Because it's moving. This is a whole different feel to now. Everything's moving. Okay. Oop. Now you got these things moving. Okay, just wait. Obviously, three is probably the slowest, but you know, stuff's still moving. Oops, it's gonna move again. So with those ones, these are pretty easy, but still, you know. Okay, there we go up here. Now these things are moving. This is kind of problematic. Okay, be very careful, this is a narrow beam and that pit's jutting out of the wall a bit and there's like no edge on it. Okay, watch out for these things moving out, these things can knock you off. Okay, and then we've got this platform here, now it moves up and down. More amps or electrical beasts, as electrical beasts likes to call them. AKA the jolty on a wet plays. Because I know his pronunciation isn't very good. And occasionally he needs Mario to teleport. I really should stop doing that. Okay. So then you want to get up here. Long jump over there, watch out. Wait for that to change. Okay, wait for it to change again, otherwise you're gonna have to jump while it's moving most likely. Get a bit of a running start and jump. Same with this. This is kind of tricky. I got it. Awesome. Okay, wait for these. Because these guys, one, two, three, four, they come out at you and it's really annoying. Okay, let's run back. You got these conveyor belts here. Oops, almost had lost it there. 
can't believe I haven't died yet, man. In my practice, I was screwing this up completely. Okay, now this is kind of tricky. Put it in Mario's perspective. Zoom out. Wait until they're pretty much vertical and don't do that. Okay, I think I will cut back to the top of this thing. And I'm back. Okay. Let's wait till these get perfectly level. There we go. You don't even need to jump on the second one, really. It's just there, you know, in case. Okay. Triangle. Oh, and the hand's right here. So now we're going to get a hand. Oh, that fireball thing there. Yeah. And I, many people who play this game can easily say that that's mostly the, the most annoying part of this level. That fireball producer back there. Anyway. This thing's going to come across now, and then when it gets to the far end, we're going to jump off. But make sure to stand a bit of the ways back, otherwise you can get knocked off this platform, because if you look at what the red bit does, I'm just going to change this up, like it is. Well, you do, see, right there, it goes underneath it, and if you're standing on that, you'll get knocked off. So just, just stand back a bit. Oops. And don't fall off this e one either, because otherwise you... Oops. Okay, there we go, up on top of him. Oops, or not. Okay, wait till he comes back. Okay, dude. Okay. There we go. 108. Here we go indeed, Mario. Let's fix my headset up. Blech. Okay. Now. It's 108. I think I can go for one more. And this one, you want it on three again. Okay, I think I'm just going to record the entire course, maybe. And a bit more. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so more moving crap. If I have to, I might actually cut to where... Because you've already seen me come up this, but... You know, just, I think I'll just leave it in for the sake of... Leaving it in. Hmm. Okay, so this one's called Time Jump for some moving bars. And that means we're going to time our jumps on bars that could be potentially moving. When I say potentially, I mean they are moving. Hmm, okay. I don't think I'm going to get all this in one video, like all the um, stars in this course in one video, and I died. And I died. So now we're going to go back, not quite so high as we were last time. You know, Mario doesn't need to get that high. He can do that by smoking his magic mushrooms. Um, but, yeah. I'll just show you. Okay. Come up here. And we're going to grab onto this pole, do a bit of worm our way up it, jump off, get a life. Up here. And this time we're going to... Whoops. We're going to long jump over again if this thing will come back up. Okay, and then we're going to walk across this grating stuff here. Now here's where the moving bars are, here's where we have to time our jumps. So when the first one comes out... Okay. See, they give you... I don't know, it's kind of... Okay, I think you don't even need to worry about that one there. Pretty sure you can just do it without... There we go. There we go. Here we go indeed, and I think I will call that an episode. Until the next part of Let's Play Super Mario 64, I bid you adieu. Well for now, but not forever.